is a beautiful world. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World, bringing you inspirational stories from around the globe. I knew from day one that I would feel joyful inside knowing that we could help many, many people in developing countries and save lives. That's Deshaun Henry. He's 19 years old and a sophomore at the University of Buffalo in New York. He's developed an amazing new device that creates fresh drinking water quickly, cheaply, and without using any chemicals or electricity. And since over a billion people lack access to clean drinking water, and 3.4 million people die every year from water-related diseases, the hunt for new water purification technologies has never been more critical. Deshaun calls his invention the Water Lens, and he created it with his professor, Dr. James Jensen, who runs the University of Buffalo's Civil and Structural Engineering Department. We're all focused on how can, how can people treat water themselves without having to rely on outside countries or companies. So we're looking for ways to uh, give people in the developing world ways to treat drinking water that can use just the natural materials they have around them. Using natural materials is a key component of Jensen's work. He says that the program used to focus on water treatment technology that required increasing amounts of chemicals and electricity, but those are two things that developing countries rarely have. He realized that what people really needed was ways to create clean drinking water without electricity or chemicals, using elements that they already had all around them. And that's what makes the water lens so unique. It requires only wood and clear plastic sheeting, both of which are often in great supply at aid stations. Now, the way the water lens works is by harnessing the power of the sun. It heats water up with condensed sunlight, sort of like if you hold a magnifying glass over a pot of water. And the goal is to heat that water up to 130 degrees, which is the temperature required to kill bacteria. So we build a big frame, it's about six feet tall, and we stretch a piece of plastic over it, like plastic film. And so if you pour water on top of that plastic, the plastic will sag down and it forms a nearly perfect mathematical shape uh, as a lens. So now the sunlight that hits the top of that lens will be focused uh, underneath the lens. And uh, if you put something at that focal point, you'll, you'll get pretty darn hot. Hot enough, it turns out, that it kills dangerous bacteria and makes the water drinkable. But Jensen says that temperature isn't the only way to kill pathogens. He and his students are also working on other ultra-green technologies that involve using indigenous plants, native fabrics, and ceramic pots, all of which also create clean drinking water without electricity or chemicals, which is essential for developing areas that need clean water the most. I asked him where he got some of these inventive ideas, and he confessed that some of them came from some fairly unconventional places. The water lens idea, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say, but actually came from a YouTube video where somebody had built this kind of as a toy in their backyard to start fires. And then my students and I sort of realized that it could be used for treating drinking water. So, you know, the ideas come from sort of strange places. But, you know, if, if your mind is kind of tuned to these things, you know, you, you, sometimes these crazy ideas just resonate. Crazy or not, the water lens could be a powerful new tool for creating clean drinking water in developing countries. Jensen says the next step is to make the entire system larger in order to help developing countries and villages at a household level. So right now we're just doing one liter at a time, which is a very small amount of water. But we've developed some model, mathematical models so that we understand how this process works now. So we now have a, a good feeling for how big we would have to make them. So that's the next challenge. But, um, but we are ho- hopeful that this will be something that will help people. That was Dr. James Jensen and his student, Deshaun Henry, from the University of Buffalo, both making the world better one sip of water at a time. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World. To me, a more beautiful world is a place where people care more about other people and the environment than they do about themselves.